Now that we have gone through the introduction with Google Finance Links, next step is to slowly build knowledge on this function and start using it for practical purpose down the line. A major part of Google Finance function syntax is its sticker symbol, and without it, we won't really get the information that we need. That brings some thoughts, how to bring the ticker symbols, how to know we are pulling the correct data, or should we specify something in the function that can help improve accuracy. Now, all these answers are given in the documentation that I shared in the previous video. Uh, the link will be in the description below as well. I'll quickly toggle to that page and you can clearly see in the syntax paragraph, we have the ticker symbol for security to consider. It's mandatory to use both the exchange symbol and the ticker symbol for accurate results to avoid discrepancies. Example, if Google is listed on NASDAQ, you should use it as NASDAQ and then Google, right? If, if you're uh, checking some nifty based stocks on NSE, it should be NSE colon stock ticker, right? Here we can easily see what all conditions are required to get the accurate data that we need for our analysis. Just a big asterisk here, not all futures or not all scripts are supported on Google Finance. With time, they will get more support and you can then use it. Okay, so now coming back to the Google Finance sheet. Now, what is the best way to add the ticker symbol in the Google Finance function? Should we do it manually? Should we uh, add it manually by typing NASDAQ colon Google? Or should we do it in a dynamic way? I recommend let's do it in a dynamic way so that when we want to change the code that you want to look into, we'll just drag and drop the formula and we'll get the answer that we need, right? So to do this, I'll quickly show you the first formula and then we'll drag and drop it. So now I want to look for different indexes and different stock symbols in each indexes. So what index do I want to use? In US, I want to look into NASDAQ and stock symbol is Tesla. So the ticker symbol becomes NASDAQ colon and Tesla. So this is my ticker symbol. Now, what currency is the stock price quoted in? So Google Finance, ticker symbol, and then I want to know the currency. And now if I drop this formula button, it will calculate and give me, okay, there is also an NYSE exchange in US and I can look for Berkshire Hathaway B class shares and it is also in USD. In India, uh, State Bank of India shares are there listed on NSE National Stock Exchange. You can use the ticker symbol NSE colon SBIN and it will be denoted in Indian national rupees. On London, Barclays is listed on the London exchange. So you and the currency would be the Great Britain pound. Similarly, if you want to get price, you just need to know the ticker symbol and the price. This will give you the latest current price that Google Finance has in their data set. And if you drag and drop this data, you will get all the prices. So the latest price for Tesla on the NASDAQ exchange is $281. Uh, for Berkshire Hathaway B-class shares on NYSE is $341. In India, SBI is trading at 544 rupees. And in uh, UK, Barclays is trading at 156 pounds, right? Now, another question after we do this analysis or after we see how we can use the Google Finance function to get the latest information, all the currency, the quotes are denoted in. Are we restricted to only the tickers available in Google Finance portal? Yes, and this is unfortunate, but it is a growing function. So slowly, all the uh, tickers are being added, but not all are supported as of now. Some might have uh, date issues as well. So tread with caution. A lot has improved in the past couple of years, but do uh, remember that it can only give us the codes for tickers that the function supports. So if the function does not support a particular ticker or a particular index, you won't get the information for that particular ticker. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.